I'll start. <laughs> I, I think I think a lot lot of different ways, but I think actually I think open source. Uh, uh, the whole CBDC uh, involvement has been a catalyst for using the, like, the use of open source and central banking because when people wanted to start an experiment with DLTs, open source was really the only way to go. So we, the Project Jasper in Canada, Project mm -hmm. Open in, in Singapore, they were kind of like the trailblazers and everybody else has been following this. And now there's good momentum. People feel more comfortable actually using open source in, in their own experimentation. In the innovation of we're building also a blockchain platform, it's built, built on Hyperledger Besu. So, so we, we, we are trying, so, so I, think, I think that's true. So just to get out of the gate, open source was the only way to go. Then central banks over the last couple of years have thought more deeply about uh, central bank digital currencies. So last year there was these reports that came out of this coalition of central banks. Um, and they highlighted a number of different things. One is do no harm. Uh, interoperability and maybe also innovation. And you can map open source to, to each of those. The first one is more about the ecosystem. You don't want something with less financial stability than we have mm -hmm. today. But that's where, if you believe open source is more secure, then it fits in there. In terms of interoperability, I think it's obvious that open source uh, is a key there. And also in terms of innovating and allowing people to build on some kind of base layer of central bank digital currency, again, I think open source will be extremely helpful. Maybe there's some layer where, because it's critical infrastructure of security that we might have to think about. Uh, it's not unlike how we have it with the banknotes today. There's some things we share, there's some things we don't. Maybe it has to be the same way with the central bank digital currencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, uh, yeah, I would just add to that. Uh, that I have a tremendous amount of respect by by which the you know between Jasper and Ubin and Jura, like all of the projects that Morton just referenced, you know, the the commitment to sharing the results mm -hmm. and publicizing, you know, the 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 learnings has been fantastic, and and I, you know I think very much consistent with the view of of you know moving towards open source and and the and the common standards that have to evolve in in, in the interoperability points um, so yeah I, I've been in, incredibly encouraged with with that because it would be again it would be a shame right to have every central bank be on the journey individually mm -hmm. and have to learn all the lessons individually rather than what we're seeing is a, a, a pipeline of projects where each one is saying, okay, the, the previous ones have proved these points and now we need yeah. to extend and prove this new thing. And, and, there's, and there, are, uh, there are a number of things to prove, right? And, and to get comfortable around. And so that, that global sharing and openness to basically say, look, each new project needs to put, you needs to, you know, there's a there's a whole there's a, a framework of things that have to be addressed. <laughs> Let's knock them off one at a time with each with each project. It's um I, I think it's a it's it's exactly what you would hope for um you know in that global collaboration. So. Mm -hmm.